How do you know when your screenplay is done? Spoiler alert, your screenplay is never done. Sometimes it becomes ready. Towards the end of this video, I will recommend a show I watched recently that documents the trials and tribulations of a group of creative people. This is good stuff. So what do I mean when I say a screenplay is never done? Writing a screenplay is somewhat like this. You come up with an idea, you procrastinate, maybe sometimes you forget that idea. You try and come up with another idea or you just hate yourself. When another idea finally comes, you write it down and turn it into a screenplay. You start thinking about the characters, the setting, the genre, and then before you know it, you're fantasizing about what you will be able to buy if the screenplay sells. And if the film is made and it becomes a hit, then you're wondering whether everybody will suddenly want to be your best friend. No? Just me? Fine. There are a limited number of outcomes in any given story. Either the hero wins or he loses. But there are never-ending and ever-changing options for how you can get to this ending. These variations, these what-ifs, will keep coming to you throughout your creative journey. A quick word of warning, if you allow yourself to be mesmerized by that demon called perfection, you may never finish even a single script. To my way of thinking, done is better than perfect. So let's get back to the screenplays are never done, sometimes they are ready business. What does that even mean? Just like so many writers have said before, I will say this to you. If all you have written is a first draft, your screenplay is not ready. There will be some cool ideas in there. There might even be some scenes that make it through all the way to the shooting and editing stage. This is highly doubtful, but hey, stranger things have happened. If all you have is a first draft, your screenplay is not ready. Your mind's tree has given you a fruit, but that fruit is not ripe yet and it's definitely not ready to be eaten by other people. You need to allow the fruit to ripen. In the case of a screenplay, what that means is you need to allow the themes to develop further. You need to have your characters find their own unique voice. If every one of your characters sounds exactly the same and if every character would react to a stressful situation in exactly the same manner, you do not have a screenplay. You have a one-person therapy session in screenplay format. Allowing your characters and your dialogue and your themes to mature takes time and it takes effort. This is mind-numbing, soul-crushing effort, but it is the effort you have to put into squeezing all of the juice out of your script. I mean your fruit, I mean the script. Now, once you've completed the various passes that are necessary on a screenplay rewrite, your screenplay is probably ready for feedback. I know people like to say that screenwriting or writing in general is lonely, solitary work. This is true, but that's just in the creation stage. You need to find a small group of trusted people who will read your screenplay and give you honest feedback. It might help if at least some of those people are not from the film industry. Because, and this is important, if those people are able to read your screenplay and understand it and see the characters somewhat in the same way that you saw your characters, well, my friend, that is very good news. Let's be honest. You don't very often get good news, not in the screenwriting business. What you do get are notes. Actually, mostly you get opinions. Once in a while, you get notes, actionable notes that will help you with the next rewrite of your screenplay. So why do you need to go through this whole feedback gathering process? Because it is important for you to find out how much of what you have written is clear to people outside your own head. A quick note, if anyone has taken the time to read your screenplay and give you feedback, the first thing, the absolute first thing that you should do is thank them. Receiving feedback is an important part of the creative process, especially when you think that that creative process could someday become your livelihood. The reason why I say that a screenplay is never done though is because I have been on sets multiple times where the director has shut down the shoot so that he could rewrite a scene because he felt it wasn't working. Imagine that, 200 plus people on set just waiting because someone has opened up their screenwriting program while the producer is literally setting money on fire because production time has been interrupted to fix a thing that should have been ready before pre-production. I have something scarier to tell you. Sometimes people don't notice that there is a problem until they watch the edit. This is why reshoots are often a part of a movie's budget. So in every sense of the word, a screenplay is just a plan. And as we all know, Plans can change at any time. Okay, if you like stand-up comedy, if you don't mind watching shows with subtitles on, and if you are as deeply in love with the city of Paris as I am, you might enjoy the show Standing Up 
which recently premiered on Netflix. It is the story of a group of comedians who are trying to make their way in the world of stand-up comedy. We meet several characters who are at different stages in their career. There is the has-been, the rising star, the talented wallflower, and the dilettante. There are class and gender dynamics at play, as well as a whole bunch of messy relationships. The show is just six episodes long, and we binged it all in a single night. If I didn't want to actually continue trying to make a career for myself in show business, I'd just go back and watch the show again. The show is called Standing Up. It's on Netflix. And if you do check it out, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate that bell icon to be notified when our next video goes online. Now go create something awesome.